Hello world and welcome to Hacks where we try to simplify cybersecurity. Today we're back on Hack This Site looking at the JavaScript missions and we're going to be looking at JavaScript number 3. Math time. Face, faith is going to test your math skills and your JavaScript operations. You've already completed this level. Difficulty rating easy. Take this challenge. So, what we get is a password submission form that we always have and we have a bit of JavaScript that we need to work out what's going on. So if we look at the if statement right away, we're saying that if x length is equal to mu, alert win. So whatever password we submit needs to be the length of mu, which is a variable. So if we scroll in else, you fail. So if we scroll up, we can see that we have a number of different variables being assigned foo, bar, mu, ra. And we can see that there are a number of different calculations being performed. So first of all, we have foo, which is performing a Bobmas calculation of 7 times 6 plus 5 which is 47. And then we have bar, which is foo. Now this is called a modulus or a remainder. So it's not a percentage. It's usually like a division and then a remainder of the values in programming. Um, so it's saying 47 divided by eight and it's the remainder of that equation, which in this case is going to be seven. And then we have mu equals bar, which we know bar is 7 times 2, which we know is 14. And then we have ra, which we don't have to do anything with because ra is not part of the equation. Ra equals mu divided by 3, but we don't need to know that. So we just need to submit a password of 14 characters long. Uh, it can be any password. So if I just inspect this quickly just going to change that value to text so you can see what I'm inputting and close that I'm just going to do 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then we have 11 sorry 10 11 12 13 14 and if we check the password it says, congratulations, you completed the mission, but we've already done the mission. So, yeah. Um, I really enjoyed this mission, but for the wrong reasons again. Now, um, I didn't do very well at academics at school. Um, I still went to uni and, well, college and university afterwards. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised I got this far into computing and cyber security in general and even through college and uni without knowing about Bodmus. I'm sure I've heard of it before but I was trying to work this out as it actually is displayed on the screen. So I was doing 5 plus 6 which is 11 times 7 which is 77 and I just wasn't coming up with the right answer. So this challenge taught me about Bodmus and then also I was trying to do a percentage instead of a uh, modulus or um, yeah modulus which is obviously the division and the remainder so I was getting completely the wrong answers and then when I said to my friends oh I can't believe I'm 35 and I've only just learned about Bodmer so I got laughed at but now they understood and then obviously someone piped up with Pedmus so that was that was another kind of worms although it's the same thing uh, but yeah you know any challenge or mission that I learn something from is is becomes one of my favourites, and I'm honestly shocked I managed to get this far in life without knowing about Bodmus. But yeah, um, the script itself was fairly simple to understand. X length equals mu, so it's like the length of the variable, or the length of the value in the variable. If that's the same as mu, then you win, and then if else, fail. Uh, not much more to it than that. I uh, hope it helped you find the solution i'm sure that's why you're here as you were trying to work it out and probably struggled maybe a bit like i did uh if you did give me a thumbs up possibly subscribe and kind regards